Hey everyone, it's Danielle, the tall girl Danny, and I just want to make a quick video to show you some of the stuff that my sister brought me back from her recent trip to Morocco. Let me get right into it. So one of the things she got me back from Morocco was this little wallet, I guess you would call it. I have some stuff in here. Actually, I have like my ID and some credit cards and some cash. So yeah, it says Morocco on it and it has this nice little pattern and it has this little slot that you can put your finger on and a little bead on the zipper but super cute when I have a big purse or even a little clutch bag that I use when I go out sometimes those clutch bags don't have any interior pockets so this is cool a cool little place for me to keep all of like my credit card my ID and my cash in one spot so that I can easily find it and not have to fish through my bag so that's one thing that she got me another thing that she got me is this essential oil it's in French it looks like so I'm not quite sure and it looks like it's orange extract essential oil and at the market that she was at where she purchased these things she was told that this is good for headaches that you can rub it directly on your temples and it's like a natural cure for headaches and I suffer from headaches kind of often sometimes I get migraines other times I get headaches that I'm not sure are migraines or not but I'm trying to find a more natural way to control my headaches so I've been using also apple cider vinegar which is apparently a natural cure for preventing headaches and I'm just trying to drink a lot of water because a lot of times headaches are just caused from being dehydrated. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. So she got me that orange extract oil from Morocco. She got me this thing. I haven't opened it yet. I guess I can open it now. But what it is in this, in this container is charcoal. And apparently it's supposed to be like a natural eyeliner. So as you can see, I tend to always wear really dark eyeliner. And yeah, I don't know how to use this. Let me see if I can open it now. I'll figure it out. I'll, maybe I'll look for a YouTube video about it. Let's see, I'm struggling to untie it right now. Let's see. So... This, I don't know what this is, but it's wooden and has little carvings out of it. But there's a hole up there. And then there's also this little stick. Maybe it's like a pounder. So maybe it goes in this way. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some research on how to do this. And in here is... The charcoal. I'm gonna open it or try to. Or maybe I won't. I don't want to make a mess. I'm at my sister's house. Um, <laughs> so I don't want to get charcoal all over the place. But I'll do some research and try to figure that out. And maybe do a video where I'm using it. So she also got me some argan oil soap. So I've actually been using it on my face while I've been here. So I have really oily, acne-prone skin. And for years, the idea of using any kind of oil on my face, I was just against because I have oily skin. The oily skin is what causes my skin to break out. So the idea of putting oil on my skin as an acne treatment just seemed counterintuitive. But I did some research and apparently argan oil is really good for keeping acne under control and it has sebum or the oil is similar to sebum which is in our skin and in our hair and it helps keep it balanced and under control. So, and it's also anti-inflammatory. So I've been using, my sister has one here that's open and I've been using that one and honestly, when I wash my face with it, my face feels like super clean, like squeaky clean, if you know what I mean. And it 
is not causing my skin to feel oily or greasy. It's almost kind of mattifying, like with, without over drying, like it's cleaning my face without over drying it and without making me greasy or oily or shiny. So I'm all about this Argan oil soap for my skin. I'm probably only gonna use it on my face and not on my body because I have one bar and a little goes a long way, but I want to use it for my skin to see if I see, notice a difference. Uh, my skin's been doing pretty well, so I'm a little nervous about changing up my routine, but I'm also open to try new things to make it even better. Oh, and argan oil is supposed to be good in healing, preventing scarring, and treating scars. So I do have makeup on now. I have makeup in, on, on in most of my videos, but I do have some uh, acne scars on my cheeks especially. So I wanna see if using the soap will fade my acne scars. And the last thing that she got me from Morocco is some argan oil. So this is 250 milliliters, which seems to be by I think that's about four ounces and I haven't opened this yet and I mentioned in some of my other videos that my natural hair seems to not like argan oil or well I haven't tried pure argan oil in my hair but I have used products that have argan oil in it and they're probably not pure it's probably not pure argan oil but what would happen is the product would always feel like it was just sitting on top of my hair and not absorbing into my hair so now that I have some pure argan oil I will try it again and see if it works and I've actually been using my sister has an open one and I've been using the argan oil on my face as a moisturizer so I either use it solely as a moisturizer or on top of my lotion which has an acne medication in it and it has not made my skin greasy. It has not made my skin oily. I've done it only for about two days, but I haven't experienced any breakouts. And I actually had like a pimple over here. And after using the argan oil soap and oil, it like went down like really quickly. So I'm all about this argan oil. I also wanted to try another oil called Tamanu oil, which a friend of mine with amazing skin has told me to try and she told me when she told me that she had like acne I was kind of floored because her skin is super smooth super clear she doesn't wear makeup and she used to suffer from acne and she said the Tamanu oil really changed her skin so I might try that after I try the argan oil so that's it thank you very much for watching and you can leave a comment below and tell me what out of my little Moroccan haul you would like to see me try first or use in another video and as always thank you for watching sorry about the lighting situation I have some natural sunlight coming in so it's a little crazy but thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video bye